this bonza tofu is honestly the most delicious thing I've eaten all year. Listen, it's gonna take three pots to make it. It's gonna be all right though. We're gonna do it all at the same time. We're gonna start by making some sticky rice and this requires short grain, long rice. Now it takes a little bit more muss and fuss than usual rice. First, you're gonna have to wash it in some cold water. Then you're gonna have to drain it and then finally you're going to have to soak it before finally turning on the heat. So we're gonna do this in the medium pot and this is gonna be the soaking stage. Um, now all the specific measurements and instructions are right there in the recipe, so not to worry, but uh, the important thing is we wanna just add the salt and let this rest, essentially. That's all the soaking is. Let's prep the veggies. I have got a broccoli crown and four beautiful Japanese eggplants. These are my favorite type of eggplants because they're soft and luscious when they roast up. So I'm gonna prepare a big baking sheet with some parchment paper and then just um, cut these down. I'm gonna cut the eggplant in half. Uh, each one's gonna just get cut in half and then I'm going to cut the broccoli into big florets. Not tiny ones like our broccoli salad from a few weeks ago, big ones. A uh, bit of canola oil, a bit of salt, and then put the eggplant cut side down before it goes into the oven. Okay, third component here is tofu. This is medium, firm. Uh, you can also use medium, um, but absolutely under no circumstances can you use extra firm. This is yudofu, so it has to be a softer type of tofu. Cut it into just two big bricks, and then I'm gonna put it in a relatively wide saucepan. Um, it's gotta be in a single layer. Um, so you wanna just put it in there and then I'm gonna fill it up with cold water. Just make sure that the tofu goes right to the, at least the top of the, of the water um, and then turn it on over high heat and we're just gonna bring that up to a boil. Now, meanwhile, that rice has soaked and so I can turn the heat on underneath the rice. Okay, clean up and it is now time for pot number three. Let's get the canola oil in there and I'm going to gently heat that oil up, but not yet. Let's get everything else ready. Let's get all the mise en place ready. So this is green onions. I've got two big bunches of green onions and um, if you wash them uh, just before cooking with them like I did, do try to give them a bit of a dry off. You don't want a ton of water going into this sauce. Pull off any minky outside bits and uh, tops and then we wanna just chop these up, not too small, um, but fairly consistent in terms of size. We'll just put those aside. Okay, I told you everything's happening at the same time here. So the rice is just simmering. You wanna make sure that you're careful um, to put the lid on. The tofu is coming up to a simmer as well. I'm gonna put a lid on that as well. As soon as the tofu comes up to a simmer, you're just gonna turn it off, leave the lid on. Okay, we're gonna keep making this sauce. I'm gonna put some peeled garlic cloves into my little blender and a big hunk of fresh ginger. This is key, it's gotta be fresh ginger. And you wanna, so, you know, can I tell you how hard it is to measure ginger? It's about a, an inch, inch and a half piece. And I'm gonna just trim off the skin and really roughly chop it. And then I'm gonna put it into the blender. Boom, meanwhile, the broccoli is ready. Take that out. That's fine, we're gonna reheat that in a minute, but just take that off the pan. And then I'm gonna flip all of the eggplant over so that we can do the other side. It's going to need a little bit more oil. This is the thing about eggplant, it's luscious, but it's very, very thirsty for oil. It's like a sponge. So a little bit more canola oil on each one, and then it's just gonna go back into the oven. It will have one more step um, coming up. Like I said, we're doing everything at the same time because it's dinner time. Hey, back to our sauce. We've got that garlic and ginger in the blender. Add some soy sauce. Please check the recipe and start with the lower amount. Um, it's really gonna be dependent on how much salt you like. Um, puree this all up until it is nice and smooth. Let me tell you, using the blender is a ton easier than doing it all by hand. Um, oh yeah, the honey, don't forget the honey. Oh, I tell you, it's all happening. You got this. So that rice is cooked. Oh look, you can see my reflection right in there. Waving my hands over the tofu. Tofu can just stay where it is. And that oil now in the smallest pot, I wanna heat that up until it gets nice and warm. Final step for the eggplant, a little drizzle of honey over each piece. <laughs> can I tell you what eggplant loves? It loves a little tiny bit of honey. It's a magical experience. 
Once that canola oil is hot, I'm going to add a bit of sesame oil. You don't need too much because it's super strong. In go all those chopped onions. Aren't they pretty? They're like little emeralds. So I'm just trying to cook them until they're soft. I do not want them brown at all. Once they're soft, in goes that ginger garlic soy mixture. Get it all cooked around. It looks a bit funky, but let me tell you, this sauce, ounce for ounce, the tastiest sauce I've ever made. A hundred percent. Oh, look at that. We got honey, it's all broiled up and beautiful in there. I'm gonna put the broccoli back on there and just throw the pan back into the oven just to reheat the broccoli. That'll take about 60 seconds. And now for the plating. A big spoonful of that gorgeous sticky rice. So ready to soak up the sauce. Now I've got my tofu here. This is my warm tofu. I'm gonna slice this piece in half. So everybody gets half of one if you're gonna serve four. I can easily eat two halves, but that's me, I'm a tofu lover. Bunch of pieces of vegetables, and then the sauce. Okay, so you can add some chili crisp here. Well, <laughs> you can add. <laughs> ha ha, Adrian, ha ha. Yes, it took me some time to open up the chili crisp. Chili crisp is more about umami than it is about spicy. I love it, and that is coming from a person who does not like blow your head off spicy. So if you have chili crisp and you love the flavor of it, feel free to stir a humongous spoonful into that bonza sauce. And then it is time to simply spoon that sauce over every single thing in this bowl. A bowl designed specifically to soak up the sauce because this sauce is life altering. Eat a little sesame seeds and then I like a lemon wedge. I like a little bit of brightness here. So serve a little lemon wedge alongside. I'm going to squeeze mine over myself and that is it. Fully vegan. Beautifully gluten-free if you use tamari, bonza tofu with broiled veggies and sticky rice. I hope you love it.